ends up resulting in more governmental control, more governmental funding, more, and we, we might disagree on, on environmental issues, we might disagree on global warming. You know, I personally think, do I think the worm, world gets warmer? Yes. Do I think it's humanly caused? I don't know. I know that, that the, the spin on it is that all scientists agree, and it's like, no, one third says it's human ca causation, another third doesn't know, and another third says it isn't. So it's, it's a little more than that agree with it, a little less disagree, but that spin is not accurate, you know? So when we look at issues like that, I don't really know, man. You know, I don't know, but I do know that a lot of nations use that, and a lot of groups use that to disempower U.S. industry and U.S. business, and I feel like to empower foreign businesses that I don't agree with. So that's what I feel about that. But, but on a different level, like you, you, if, if in this nation, if, if you want to see a cooperative effort to have, see everyone have health care, you know, I, would, I don't have health care right now. I, my daughter does. I don't have health care. You know, I'm about to get health care, hopefully, but I'm so busy traveling around talking. So I'm not making a lot of resources. But if you want to see that, there's no reason in our economy and in our, in our nation why you can't start a private cooperative and bring 200 million people into it. You know, there's no reason why that can't be done. And if you want people who don't have the resources to be able to come into it, well, then pay for their health care. There's no reason why pe our, our system, if it was brought down to more of a constitutional level with the protections we have, we would have the room to live however we wanted to live, you know. And so, yes, the, the issues with the EPA, we're probably not going to agree on that stuff sometimes. But on the overall situation, the overall nature of what we all want, we have the freedom to do that. So my, my concern is, is when one group of Americans who has the freedom to do whatever the hell they want insists on making everyone else in the country do it too. That's what gets me so weirded out about left of center ideals and, and, and mindsets. Even issues with like local farming, you know, like take Herman Cain's 999, which some people like, some people don't like, whatever. But what are the implications of something like that, of a different tax plan? What are the implications of less federal government? If that was coupled with something like a, a, a relaxation of USDA rules, you know, and a relaxation of the federal government's effort to make sure people like me with two acres can't sell meat without paying like $30,000 to be able to kill an animal, and that I can't sell raw milk, and I can't sell this, I can't sell that, like, if, if you want to see less of that and less regulation on that and people making their own choices, you need to come to the Tea Party. And we need to make sure the Tea Party focuses on these issues. Because, like, with a 999 plan or a flat tax, and, and it becomes feasible again for me to refurnish, refurbish furniture and sell that furniture in person-to-person -person trade. What does that do for young men and women in jobs? And, you know, it becomes feasible economically for me to grow some vegetables and sell them or to kill my goat or to raise a cow with four neighbors and, and sell that meat and share that meat. So a lot of things are opened up that actually benefit the majority of the people on the left. But doing it through a federal government is lazy compassion. It's just lazy compassion. Yeah. I like it. But, let me, let me